Namaste beautiful yogis, today we have prenatal upper body strength core included workout with the bands and the dumbbell series and um, be careful make sure that is, those workouts are only appropriate obviously for normal pregnancy so uh, check in with your practitioner and as long as your pregnancy is normal you can do those workouts and monitor how hard you can go always ask back or get the feedback from your body as to how hard you can go you want to feel that this is an intense workout but it's not an to the point of exertion so you will know there is a place a soft place of uh, challenge yeah comfort that's the place you want to be you don't want to be uncomfortable anything that makes you feel uncomfortable skip it you can wait uh, in a seated pose or in a, a side bend uh, during certain exercises and wait for the next one if something makes you feel uncomfortable We'll get started with a little bit of a warm-up. Make sure that you have a wall nearby that you can sit on for one of the exercises. Uh, take your uh, arms out and we're going to draw circles in one direction. And change direction. I'll encourage you to breathe through your nose for now. Change direction one more time. Feeling your core muscles. And change. Now you can bring your hands over your belly and engaging your Kegel muscles or Mula Bandha, you're going to inhale, engage the Kegel muscles and also engage your transverse abdominis muscles. So you're just going to feel that wrap of um, that core muscles that are wrapping around your body, you will feel them engage. Hold and release. And again, Mulabanda plus engaging the transverse abdominis muscles or the core. Feel them activating, wrapping your body. And again, inhale, feel the lower back also activating, just mentally activating the muscles, connecting mentally. And release, let's do a few side bends. A few arm swings, you're just going to swing across from your body, kind of like a um, form of a twist for us now. It's not a deep twist, but it is getting our upper spine conditioned, moving. And now you can swing them. Feel the loosening up of muscles here. Upper back is loosening up, shoulders are loosening up. And coming back to the original position, arms out a few more. Arm circles, changing direction. From here, you're going to grab your uh, band. I will list below the bands I'm using. I got those from Amazon, Fit Simplify. Uh, here I'm using the, there are five different colors. For this one, I'm using the extra light. So the, the most stretchy one of the, of the five. And I'm gonna bring the band around my wrists. Palms of the hands facing each other. We're going to raise the hands in front of us. Try not to stretch it too much. Just apply gentle pressure and raise above the head and lower down. And again, reach in front of you. 
raise above lower down activating your shoulders a few more of those stay here let's reach to one side yum and to the other this is the equivalent of yumminess but in the body not in the mouth and again one side and the other yummy pregnancy moves <laughs> reaching to one side and then the other and we have a guest star our little girl Sophie again lower down reach in front of you reach back up lower down excellent now if you feel warmed up you can proceed with the next exercise we're getting into the upper body exercise i'm pretty warmed up because i am also in a really hot climate so i always want to make sure that if you don't feel warm you can pause the video and just warm up a little bit walking in place can be a good way to warm up <sighs> moving side to side with really partial lunges uh, just any movement you can do a vinyasa uh, sun salutation anything that will warm you up uh, if you are practicing in a very cold room warm up a little more but from here we're going to grab our uh, once you're warmed up or feeling warm you're going to grab your uh, dumbbells i'm using eight pounds for everybody that's different you may be using five pounds two pounds no weights if you're in the very beginning of your uh, working out journey uh, i'm gonna use eight pounds because this is what i have i've had this for years i've used them for years so i feel safe with them um, now for lifting any type of weight and you're going to have a baby so prepare for lifting heavy from here uh, you always want to uh, straighten your back and activate the legs so the lift comes from the legs now we're just gonna pick up the weights here and we're gonna go to a wall going to a wall sitting on the wall you don't have to go very deep on uh, the wall it depends how fit your legs are as you use this routine you can deepen it as you go the deeper you sit down obviously the more your lower body and core will be working and also another thing uh, with alignment here is very important to have your ankles underneath your knees from here we're going to bring the dumbbells by our sides and alternating biceps curls so this is what we'll be doing here we're working on the entire body so it's a little bit misleading uh, that i'm uh, calling it upper body but that's how my routines are going to be they're going to be full body strength a lot of core let's go one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Without swinging, one. If you are swinging, just leave the weights down. Two or take breaks. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 10 more, 1, 2, pressing the lower back into the wall, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 30, from here walk your feet slightly, uh, bring yourself up, um, coming back, into the center of your room take plie and again we're doing upper body but the lower body is not resting dumbbells in front of you open the shoulders out lower down one two core engaged three four five six seven eight, nine, 
for 10, one, getting there, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. You want your muscles, the last rep to be pretty difficult to do. If you are not feeling challenged, then you either need heavier weights or a few more reps. Um, you can walk in place here for a moment. Holding on to your weights, we're only gonna use one. <clears throat> Place them on the floor and coming onto all fours. So heavier weight, one of them near near you. You can look up, cat cow, and pull the belly in or wrap your engage your core muscles and look down towards your navel. Inhale, look up. Exhale, pull the belly or engage your core. Inhale, look up. Round the back, engage the core. Inhale, looking up, lengthening the back of the neck. Exhale, rounding the back, engaging the core. Grab your dumbbell. I'll do it with the left hand first so that you can see me well. From here, take your right leg up, opposite leg to arm and the leg is going to be bent at 90 degrees. Lift your arm and we're going to extend the triceps, lower the leg. Extend the triceps, lift, lift the leg, engaging the body. So we're again working on each and every part of the body. Keep the belly strong. This is also core exercise. Four, five, six, seven, try not to swing, eight, nine, and ten, opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, again, one dumbbell needed for the next exercise. The next exercise is not for beginners, it's for people that have been doing yoga previously. I will show you modifications if you happen to be a beginner, but you do want a challenging workout and that's why you're here. <laughs> Um, this is not super challenging, but obviously it's a little more challenging that, than just sitting down <clears throat> exercises that you may be able to find online. So that is the modification for beginners. Side plank with your bottom leg on the floor. Now if you're not a beginner, you can come into side plank or you can cr uh, crisscross your legs for ease or you can bring your feet together, whichever one you feel. Grab your dumbbell and go one, two, three, four, five, engaging the triceps, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, changing sides. Belly wrap, belly wrap, belly wrap, all right. Opposite side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And from here, you can come up to standing. I will. I'm calling this the series that are band um, dumbbells and uh, bands prenatal series but also we can do a little bit of the happy belly dance <laughs> moving the hips side to side and moving the belly and changing 
the direction. Let's bring the arms out. Bigger circles this time. And change. All right, the next exercise is going to involve again core. So we're going to bend at the waist with a straight back. From here, you can bend your knees, grab your dumbbells and keep that alignment. So you're keeping your spinal curvature here, meaning you're engaging your core and your lower back as a part of your core and we're just going to lift the weights and extend and reverse. So again, upper body, core, working, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can, with your safe technique, leave one way down, come up with the opposite one, <clears throat> bring the right elbow by your ear, and you can bring the opposite arm as support, not absolutely needed, but just to make sure that the elbow is steady, and we're going to extend the arm and bend. A little more triceps work. Let's go one, two, three, four. Now my weight is pretty heavy, so I'm gonna change sides. Feel free to complete 10 reps if your weight is not challenging. One, two, three, four. Changing sides again. One, two, three, four, five, and changing sides. One, two, three, four, five. Safe technique, leaving the weight down, and you can up, uh, touch opposite hand to knee, engaging the core here. If anything feels uncomfortable, skip it. Everybody's body is different. Some things are totally fine for someone and they don't feel very comfortable for someone else. So always listen to your body. Even if you have strict guidance from your doctor, you still need to listen to your body. It's the most important thing, in not just in fitness, in life and in health, we always have to become best friends with our own body. All right, ready for a few more of those plie shoulder lifts. Safe lift. I want you to stay safe. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Coming out of this, and we're going to do standing biceps curls. You can keep the weight up, upright. So instead of bringing um, the weight parallel to the floor, you can keep it upright. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two. Three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty, which makes it only fifteen on each side, obviously, and you can just step side to side, swing your hips side to side. Third round, plie. One, two, shoulder lifts. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, almost there. Eight, nine, ten. I can honestly say, last reps were challenging. Optional at the wall or standing biceps curls. I will do them at the wall. So glide yourself down, and once you are on the wall, press your lower back into the wall. Core is engaging. Even though you have a belly, you still want to have connection with your core. It's still there. And knees are above the uh, ankles. Let's go. This time you can go both arms at the same time. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to take a break. Five more or ten more. One, two, three, four, five. All right, one more break. Five more. We can complete them. One, two, three. Four, last one, five, all right. And you can glide yourself up, coming up safely and bending forward, straight back, open chest, wide back, lift your triceps and extend, pausing, one, pause, two, Pause, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, and safely. Placing the weight down, grab your little loop band, bring it around your bring it around your wrists, and we're just going to move side to side here. Not a steady plie, just kind of a fun side to side plie. Ooh, I'm in every shade of greenish yellow now. And Lifting, lowering, lifting, lowering. Really try to wrap your upper back, engage your upper back. You will know what the feeling is. A few more of those. They're more for mobility and engaging the muscles than an actual weight training work. And from here, you can drop it, you can stretch, right arm in front of you, pull it in, left arm, pull it in, stretching here the triceps, bring it in, bring the elbow in towards you, up until you feel stretch along the side, opposite side.
clasping the fingers, turn the palms of the hands away from you, stretch here, turn the palms of the hands towards you, round your back, bring your hands behind you, open the chest, look up, elbows back, hold. And release take a comfortable seated position I'm still in the stage of my pregnancy in which I can sit down comfortably but you can sit on a chair you can sit uh, on a pillow meditation pillow yoga block whatever you wanna whatever you have around or whatever you're used to using and fits with fits in with your comfort zone comfort level bring your hands over your belly and take a moment to just bring yourself to this precious present moment without any thoughts you're not supposed to think anything of this moment you're only supposed to feel it and if it doesn't feel intuitive to feel uh, keep emptying your mind and keep getting there because it, it, in a certain moment it will snap in it will come to you so don't have expectations of a particular thought or particular feeling. Just be here, a feeling, being a feeling person, being a feeling entity rather than being a thinking being. Sometimes you'll be surprised when you quiet the mind, how peaceful everything inside is. Sometimes you'll be aware of things that are going unconsciously, that are bothering you and you're just suppressing. So either way, don't judge it. You're not supposed to be constantly positive or constantly perky. You're supposed to be you. So allow whatever it is within you to just be aware of it and to feel it and sometimes that is emptiness and that's perfect now guided visualization more so than empty allow yourself to appreciate Lily come over come over baby allow yourself to appreciate the blessedness of the moment with its challenges and with everything around it the joys the challenges the the difficulties the excitement everything there is no right and wrong way the blessedness of this moment so from here you will bring your hands behind you and straight back and you will just lower your legs to one side just a little bit and lower them to the other just a little bit one more time going as far as it feels comfortable and opposite side Coming out, sitting up, hands over the belly one more time and this time I'll let you go so that you can have your peaceful quiet moment however long it is, 10 seconds, 1 minute, 2 minutes, 5 minutes, whatever feels good, whatever you can fit in your day. Just allow yourself to sit present in your body, present in the sensations in your body, present in the connectedness you have with another soul, like you would never have again that type of connection with this soul, or maybe you will, but not in this lifetime. So appreciate that connection and it, the feel of it, not the thought of it, because the mind is not sufficient now. Now the heart is only sufficient to understand and allow yourself to sit in this connection to appreciate the blessedness of the moment and thanks for joining me today i'll see you with our core workout next 
Namaste.